To fix this problem, we need to connect a keyboard to the USB drive, USB port, and uh, when we when we start, we should uh, press this delete continuously. Now I turn on, turn on, and uh, press this delete uh, continuously. Press this delete continuously, and uh, it will get into the BIOS. And we can choose the boot option. And then find this first uh, boot option, set it as uh, Windows Boot Manager. And uh, save and exit. Wait it to uh, restart. And then we find this PC and uh, find the file we need in the in this BR room and open it, find this this continuous we need and open it click this yellow application ok, when it start we choose this this bot server Partition and uh, right click and choose this restore restore partition from image file and select image file find the PR room and then select the part server backup and double click and uh, make sure it this uh, Target is but server partition and uh, press the start. The start in the panel. We may we may not hardly click it because the screen. Okay, we can click the start and okay. And wait it uh, start and complete to restore the partition of the of port server. And uh, choose OK again. Okay, when okay when it uh, complete, uh, we uh, press Enter, finish, and then we choose the BR room part uh, partition and uh, right click. And uh, select uh, the modify pa partition parameters, and uh, press this choose this generate, and then also we can uh, press we can we can see the sometimes we can see the button of the on this button of the enter we can press the tab. Press the tab to to choose. Uh, let me show you. Tab first tab second third fourth five five. Press five times tab tab button to switch to the enter and press the press the enter. To click, press the enter to click to confirm, and uh, it uh, will show you the menu, and we choose yes. And then we choose the menu save all. Okay, save all and yes. And now the fake fax program is finished. And we close and restart to BIOS. Press start, restart and press this delete 
continuously. And now we back to the belts and set the boot option again. Set Windows Boot Manager and Disable and uh, only keep the UEFI OS and the first option, first boot option and save and exit. And press any key and choose continue boot, always continue boot. And uh, we can uh, get into the game system and now all the game is come back the program is fixed